What is poppin' and machoppin' my Bagel Bites? It is Mr. Bagel Bites here, bringing you another VGC Team 2020 video. And in this one, we're bringing back the Senna Scorch team that we used in the last video. I really like Skin Skin <laughs> Senna Scorch, and I think it can honestly do a lot of work here, especially against Rapierior if they leave that. Is their Trick Room just Hatterene? Maybe Gengar lead? Maybe Obst Obstagoon actually feels pretty good here. Maybe like a Clefairy Obstagoon. Actually, wait, no, it's part fairy, so actually it's a little bit less good than I think it is. Maybe Corviknight. They don't have any Intimidate though, do they? And then Sun could be pretty dangerous. Maybe not. They don't have anything really good for Senescorch except the Rhyperior, which I doubt they'll lead. So maybe leading, like, Senescorch, Clefairy. I think Gastrodon could be good. But I think I'm going to go Obstagoon, Corviknight in the back. Go for a little bit more of an offensive pr uh, presence in the late game. I think it would be pretty good. But if you guys are excited for the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on Mr. Bagel Bites content. Super helps out the channel and me, so I hope you consider doing that. So let's go ahead and see what, uh... What he leads here? Darmanitan coming out. Darmanitan and Hat. So what I think I'm actually going to do here is I think I'm just going to go ahead and send Inferno into the Darmanitan, try and go for the knockout here, and just go for the follow me with Clefairy. Because you don't necessarily want to set the trick room here. And if we get this Sentiferno off, I'm going to feel pretty good about the rest of this game. Because we're going to have a pretty good uh, matchup here. So let's uh, go ahead and Dynamax. Get this up. Sentiferno is such, uh, such a good move, honestly. If they had bumped to the 160, I think this Pokemon would see more use. No Dynamax here. Going to go ahead and follow me. Go ahead and target probably Ice... Uh, oh, Rock Slide. Ooh, that's going to hurt. So we're going to get this Sentiferno off here. Probably pick up the KO. There we go. Super cool with that. And then they are going to go ahead and set the Trick Room. Figured, but you never know. And now he's going to take that residual damage every turn. Okay, so let's see what they send in here. They have not used their Dynamax, so that's something to keep in mind. Sableye. I go for like a Max Quake. That could be good. It's not Stab though, would Sentiferno be better? Is Sableye also bound because he swapped in? I think that's how that works. He's not, actually. So I could launch another Sentiferno into him, but I think it's going to be better to launch that Max Quake into this slot. And go ahead and follow me again. Yeah. And then if we can start boosting our special defense with the Assault Vest, we might actually be able to outlast the, uh, the Hatterene here. Which would be pretty sweet. This is such a dangerous Pokemon, Gigantamax Hatterene. The confusion is so relevant, actually. Let's go ahead and get faked out. Figured. We might survive the Mindstorm, honestly, with the vest. Yeah, Sunscorch has really good special defense. So let's go ahead and fire this off. It is Life Orb too, so we know we can hit that now with, like, the Corviknight if we have to. Takes that like a champ. So we're going to go ahead and boost our Spideef. It's going to take that Residual there. And then... We don't need Rain up. Do we just go for the raw damage? I could fire this into the Sableye so it can't swap out. 
But I think I'm pretty comfortable launching off another Max Quake to boost our Spadef some more. And to follow me to take the Max Mindstorm. Yep. Because now we're plus one. Quash. Yep. <laughs> Psychic Train, your, your, your Sable Light doesn't quite work as well as you would hope. We're gonna go ahead and take that. Whew. I actually thought we'd take that a little. Ooh, that sucks. Yep. That is unfortunately how it works. So we just gotta hope we don't hit ourselves. We did last video. We actually get it off. So that's amazing. Do some pretty decent damage there. And then we're going to go ahead and boost our special defense a little bit more. Probably not surviving anything huge. But every little bit helps. And because we're also still on our first two Pokemon. And their Trick Room as well as their Gigant or yeah, their Gigantamax is about to run out. So let's go for a Heat Wave. And follow me to take this last this last uh, move from the uh, from the Hatterene. I'm gonna go ahead and max guard for their last move. Interesting choice considering we're both confused. I'm gonna go ahead and hit ourselves. I'm going for the hex, which probably will knock us out. Yeah. I think there's a chance we could have lived that. <laughs> we snap out of confusion and get to go for heat wave. That's fine. And we do connect on the on the Sableye. Is that a two hit KO? Oh that's a crit, yeah, that makes sense. Really? Citrus? It is citrus. And it's gonna take that residual damage a little bit more. Does tr Trick Room run out here? We swap in to get our boost, and then Trick Room should end. Or we get Corviknight in and go for like a bulk up. I think I'm pretty fine with that, actually. And then saving Obstagoon for a paw, potential late game option. I really love Shiny Corviknight. Okay. So let's go for another Heat Wave here. And I'm pretty fine with going for... Actually, I'm going to go for Iron Head in case we miss. Because he just Max Guard, so he has a less chance of protecting here. And getting rid of the Hatterene is a pretty uh, good choice. <laughs> He's going for Expanding Force, which is really going to hurt. But we're plus two Spadef on the Senda Scorch, technically. Alright, we don't let that. <laughs> yeah, no, if Corviknight took that much damage, then uh, there's no way... Uh, or, uh, that uh, Ooh, Hex coming out here. Shouldn't do a ton. I did a lot more than I thought it would, if we're going to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and proc us to our berry, though. So that's pretty exciting. And then we can go for the Iron Head for the KO. Sweet. Now we're each down to two Pokemon. And that ended so we can swap in Obstagoon. Good. Okay, what is this? Rhyperior. I'm actually pretty fine with that, because now we can go ahead and obstruct here. And we... We can get rid of our flying type and actually roost here. I'm pretty fine with that. I'm going to roost. Obstruct is such an amazing move, too. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> it must have been a misclick. Roost also gets rid of our flying typing, so if he goes for, like, rock... Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Without the boost, though, that does a lot less damage. Also set off our flame orb. Um, I'm gonna go for knockoff into the Rhyperior. And I'm going to go ahead and Roost again. Yeah. Without Boost, Rhyperior still has really good attack, but it's a lot less threatening. Doesn't affect Tama Dark type. Okay, bye-bye Weakness Policy. We'll get off this big Roost. And now we can hit it with super effective moves pretty, uh, pretty confidently. Going for Rock Blast.
Is he gonna? Okay, I was about to say, I was like, how far is this gonna go? I'm gonna go ahead and go for the CC this turn. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and bulk up. Yeah. Willow was finally coming out. <laughs> I, has he revealed that yet? Wow, even with the flame orb and max attack. So, uh, we're probably gonna go down this round. Maybe. Gonna go for Rock Blast again. If we only take two... Oh my god, we do. We could try and obstruct here. I'm gonna CC again. Actually... Do I predict a Hex from... Well, it, we outspeed it. I'm gonna go for a knockoff into Sableye slot. And then Iron Head into the Rhyperior. Ooh. Oh wow, that didn't do enough damage. I thought that would do more. Hex coming out, but it's going into Bird. If he's smart, he'd double target Bird. Alright, we unfortunately have to go for the Iron Head this turn into the, uh, Rhyperior. Rock Blast is <laughs> interesting tech, to say the least. If it was plus two, it'd be, it'd be really threatening. Alright, okay. Take that. With the plus one in defense, we take that. Thank God. So now we can roost next turn. Because I'm pretty sure we outsped the Sableye. I'm pretty sure. With that in mind, should we just Iron Head instead, actually? Yeah, actually, we do. We did outspeed. Whew! Honestly, I probably should have roosted there just to be safe. But I'm a man. So I went for it. <laughs> oh, man, that was way closer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on Mr. Bagel Bites content. Sorry for the last few short videos, but I'm trying to bulk record because I'm going to be really busy and I'm going on vacation here soon. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get some stuff done. But birthday's coming up, so i got to get some stuff planned because I'm going to be away for a few days. But thank you guys so much, seriously. And as always, catch you later.